Hi, this is John with SysEng Quick, and today I'm going to show you how to install and configure sudo with Debian Linux. First, you need to become the root user. Debian doesn't include sudo by default, so we'll become root to install packages. You use the sudo space dash command to become root, and now to install sudo, it's apt space install sudo. It's going to install the package, and now we just need to configure it. To configure sudo, you run the vi sudo command. It'll bring up your editor, and we go down here to the user privilege specifications. The root user, because it's the root user, can do anything. And by default, Debian allows any member of the sudo group to run any command. So, it's specifying the user first, then the host where the commands can be run, then the users and groups, and then which commands. So, percent indicates a group, it's the sudo group. The host is all, and that can be somewhat confusing if you're thinking the sudo is local, but actually the sudo privilege files can be shared among multiple hosts. So, it doesn't matter what you put here usually, all is usually the right choice but you can put other things here if you want to specify individual host with a shared sudo or file. This is the user it's allowed to run the commands as, so basically it can run it with anyone, and the group under which those commands are run to. Again, those are just all. And the final all is which commands you're able to use. So, when you do this, any member of the sudo group will be able to execute any command when asked for their user's password. So by default, if that's what you want, you don't have to do any other configuration. But I'm going to make one quick change to this. For these tutorials, I don't want to have to enter my password. So if you want to be able to use sudo and not be asked for a password, you can put the no passwd option in there before the commands and now it won't ask you for a password. So I will save this file and I will change my group and now the sysengg user is part of the sudo group. So now I can switch back to my sysengg user and now I should be able to run the sudo command without any password. So let's use sudo to become root again. There we go, I was able to sudo, and I'm root. If I leave being root, I am sysengg again. Now, one thing to note is that I became sysengg up here, and I did that because I just changed my group membership. If you are already logged in, you won't become part of your new group. So when I exit here, I am not a part of the sudo group. You can run the new group command, and now I can become sudo, but without that, I wouldn't have been able to. And you can see it actually put me into a new environment. All right, that's the basics of how you use and configure sudo on Debian Linux. See you next time.